Hey, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Culture Overload. This is the channel where we get better together and go through the self-development process together. So basically what this video is, is if you haven't watched the intro, this is day zero of us getting back on track, getting back on self-development and getting back consistent, consistent with our habits and routines. And if you're starting from ground zero or wherever you're at, hopefully you can join me on this process. I have some goals that we're going to be starting off with today and as I've been you know if you haven't watched the introduction video basically I've been through you know self-development I hit a low point in my life where I almost got I was depressed anxious like I was at my low point and then I got into self-development started really taking it seriously put in some new habits in my life meditating you know I was consistent with a lot of things working um there was a lot of things that I was doing self-development and I was doing well and you know it propelled my life to like you know out of depression to a better life and what's happened over this time is that I've gone through you know self-development roller coaster it's not a linear progression you go through ups and downs right now I'm at a down so what I thought I'd would do is document this process together so I've still been doing habits I just not haven't been consistent and I haven't you know, with me not being consistent, and I'll be honest, I haven't been that disciplined. That's why I haven't been consistent. Uh, I haven't been seeing the progress that I need to in my life. So that's why I'm doing this journey. We're starting, we're doing it together. And basically, this is a quick introduction. The rest is going to be, you know, throughout the week and, the, and tomorrow, whatever. Just kind of documenting this journey ups downs challenges tips for you if you're going through it as well but basically there's some goals there's some things that we want to start with today day zero this is uh wednesday i'm i was supposed to start monday i'll be honest i've been a bad boy but today discipline starts this is july 24th it's i believe a wednesday july 24th let me just make sure because this week has been yeah july wednesday july 24th day zero but basically there's some goals I have written down here that we're going to be tackling and trying to be getting consistent with this week and onwards and then hope, hoping to build up on this and keep progressing towards other projects but this is basically the start point if you want to start with me too number one I mentioned this on the intro video I need to fix my sleep schedule I've been tackling this issue for the longest time and the main issue is you know I can get myself to wake up early that's not the issue the issue is getting myself to fall asleep early so I can get enough sleep what happens is I'll stay up late I'll sleep in to like 12 nowadays maybe sometimes even later 11 12 and half my day is gone if you're going through mental health shit and you're waking up in the afternoon, that is one thing you need to fix. I'm telling you right now, whenever I wake up hella late, anything past noon, you feel like shit, okay? So, we're fixing the sleep schedule. What we're doing with that is I'm trying to wake up at an early time, maybe like 8, 9, and trying to fall asleep at an earlier time, have a time where I'm in bed, winding down. And one thing, like I said, um, I'm be doing it right now and this is why I wanted to start recording this video right now one thing to do to help you is put an alarm if you have a second phone if you don't get an alarm clock and put it across your room for me it's really helpful because I, I sleep in this so it's kind of a bunk bed so I th put my alarm clock on this phone that I'm recording audio with right now put my alarm clock on here and I toss it down uh, basically so whenever it goes off if your phone goes off and it's right beside you, it's hard to be as disciplined. You don't have that moment to really think through the discipline. Come on, stop being a bitch. Get up. Stop being a bitch. But when you put your phone across the room, you got to get up. First of all, you got to get up. So that kind of helps you wake up a little bit. And then two, in that moment of you waking up, you have that moment to think about discipline. And that's at least a trigger, you know? Like, yeah, you might think about it and then get your ass back to bed, but it it just gives you that extra second in my opinion so if you've been having trouble waking up 
you snooze like 20 times, set your alarm on another phone or alarm clock, like I said, put it across the room. So next thing is being consistent. Like I said, I've been doing things with habits, but I haven't been consistent. And that's why I haven't been seeing rewards. Recently, I've been flip-flopping. Whatever fits, fits. And sometimes, you know, when you're busy, you need to. But it's best to stick with a consistent routine, get your things out of the way, and then do whatever you need. So some of the things that I want to be consistent with, meditation, posture stretches, work sessions. So what I did in my first phase of development was I go through my morning routine, and then I have work sessions for my project. I tell myself at least 30 minutes. How you trick your brain, you tell yourself 30 minutes. Whenever you get, the hardest part is getting started. Once you get started, you sometimes push to the 30 minutes. And you're like, I'm in the flow. I'm getting things done. That 30 minutes turns to two hours of work. That's how you trick yourself. If 30 minutes is too much, trick yourself with 15, 5, whatever it is. Trick yourself to do some work. The hardest part is always starting. That's another tip. Tip from the noggin for you. And uh, reading. So reading, I've. I fell off completely. Like I'll read maybe if I have time. So I've been the past few days I've been getting into it, but random times, like I said. Um, another thing that kind of goes with waking up early is getting up right away. Uh, something I tend to do, and probably a lot of us tend to do, is you wake up and you sit there in bed an hour, hour and a half, maybe two, and you go on your phone, whatever. You're too lazy to get up. So that's one thing. And honestly, this has always been a struggle. It's always a struggle. Like, I'm the type of person where I want to wake up, lay there for a second, and then, like, then get up. Sometimes I'll allow myself 15 minutes, 30 minutes max. Well, not recently, but that's starting today. And for these habits, we're going to be running through them. I'll show you through my routine and kind of the order that I like to, I'd like to do. Obviously, if you're doing it, test things out. The order that I do might not work for you. Um, another thing that goes up with getting right away, and I was ta talking about, I hinted at it, was checking your phone. So not checking phone until part of the routine is done. And yeah, it's unrealistic to wait till like 3 p.m. to check your text and everything. So at least certain parts of your routine, and we'll look through that. And then eating enough. In the intro video, I said I was bulking and I've always had an issue with not eating enough. Like, to the point where recently, like, my appetite is so low, sometimes I'll only have one meal. Now I've gotten myself to, to get used to breakfast, but if it wasn't for that, then, I mean, realistically it would be dinner, but I'd probably go without dinner if I need to. So, for me, eating enough is eating two meals. I eat two big meals. Honestly, if you eat three meals, I don't know. Salute to you. I don't know how the hell you have enough time for that. But two meals and I, I, it feels like there's no time. So that's one thing. I eat a heavy breakfast and I eat a heavy dinner. And that's one thing to help me with bulking. Right now, last time I weighed myself was yesterday. And I'm at 131. My ideal goal is 145. Let's see how that looks. I've never hit that, really. I've hit like 140 and that looks good. So I want to hit 145. Once I hit 145, maybe go up a little bit more, see how that looks on me, and that. But I have, I have plat, I've always plateaued at like 140, um, and re right now, like I said, I'm recently weighed myself. I'm a 131, so we need to get that up. So that's one of them, and with that also comes getting back into working out. I think it's been like a month or so that I haven't gone in the gym, so that's another thing that we need to get back on. And then here, I just wrote the keys to success. The keys to success to anything, and especially if you want to get some habits going and get your shit together, discipline and consistency. So this is the introduction. This is what you're going to see throughout this week, and this is probably the longest part. Uh, there's going to be a little snippets here and there, hopefully, but this is it. Good morning. So this is the next day. Um... Clearly, I'm just waking up. Most YouTubers will wake up, they'll get dressed, and then they'll get back in the bed and make themselves look like they wake up. I'm clearly just waking up. 
and my alarm clock was set for a weird time. It was like 9.40. I'm not gonna lie, it got, it went off. I got up and I came back into bed. I didn't go back to sleep, but I'm just kind of laying here, recovering, and it's hard. I don't want to get out of bed. I'm tired. I want to go back to sleep so bad. And it does not help. I forgot my AC on all night, so my room is freezing cold. So it's like double as hard be getting out of bed here's a tip if you find it hard count down like five four three two one and then out one force yourself to get up so hard as it is i'm about to get up and start shower and get the day started let's go okay as you can tell I'm fresh crispy. I just showered. That's usually how I start my morning. I wake up. The first thing I gotta do is shower. I don't know. I'm the type of person where I can't start my day without feeling showered, refreshed, nice and clean. Um, you can probably shower at night if you want to. It doesn't matter. Figure out your own. Figure out your own order. Don't wanna. Don't wanna hold this shit. Get this on my chin. So basically, now that I'm all showered up. Um, we can really start the day, and I didn't really mention the order of how I do things, usually, but, um, yesterday at least. But basically, now that I'm all showered, I'll make my bed, get that all done, and sometimes I meditate before, sometimes I meditate after breakfast, but I talked about being consistent, so I think I'm going to stick with just meditating, making my bed, meditating, going to make food, them mucking that food of course and then posture stretches and then we get into the rest of the day so i'm gonna get into that um today did not or is not going as planned so far but that is the way life goes when you're trying to get in the habit of things life's gonna happen things are gonna come up so this morning basically as soon as i finished eating at noon I wanted, like I said bef before we started this, in the, in the intro, I wanted to get my uh, all my habits, my routine, my morning routine all done and, you know, meditation, posture stretches and work session. But basically, after I ate, I had to drive my girlfriend to, the, uh, to get stitches basically because she injured herself. So life's going to happen. Things are going to get thrown your way and you're just going to have to deal with it. So today I've only gotten to breakfast. I still need to fit in my meditation my posture stretch stretches and then I also need to get some work sessions done in as well as reading so what I'm going to do now is do my meditation my posture stretches and then I'll be back with you to figure out what are we going to do and you know how we're going to figure the rest of the day out when I'm starting so late I guess most of the routine now is kind of like the final stuff the reading and the most important shit the work session so it's now five o'clock I have a soccer game at nine so time management I think what I'm doing is the weather is really nice outside so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage I'm gonna go out for a little bit I'm gonna read get my reading done get my get a cup of tea get my reading done and then uh, I have a couple of drafts for a script for a video for my other channel. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to do the final draft because yesterday I was trying to, I've been trying to record that video the whole week, but it's more professional video. So I kind of have to worry about my hair. Like right now I look like a slob kind of my hair's everywhere. But in that video, I kind of have to worry about that. I wanted to get it done today, but my hair was an absolute mess. And then when I tried to do it yesterday, uh, when I was trying to f follow the, the, draft I thought it was going to be good enough but it was 
the order was messed up, so it was missing things or going over things when they should have been gone over before, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out to a park. I'm going to make a cup of tea, go to a park, get my reading done, and do some of my layout for that video so I can record it tomorrow. And tomorrow is like my deadline. I have to record it tomorrow and get it done because I've been already delaying it. So that's what we're going to do right now. And then once I get back, I'll probably have some other projects I want to get done. Maybe start uh, uploading the clips from this video onto my laptop and start editing. So yeah, that's kind of the first day. Technically not how I wanted it to go, but we're still making the best out of it. And I hope you can follow along for that. So. So I basically, oh, that's a terrible place to put my hand. Oh, hold on, where can I put my phone? Here? That's gonna slip. It's gonna slip. Oh, oh, it held. So I finally got to the park. Um, right now I'm reading The Power of Now. This is probably like the fourth time I've read the book. Uh, it's really, especially now that I'm trying to re-explore presence, I guess. I, it's, I can never get old of this book. I'll probably read it a lot. Of, I could probably read it like 20 times. So definitely a, a book I recommend you read. So I'm reading that and I brought my notebook as well. And there's a car behind me. Hello, bye-bye. And I brought my notebook so I can get some of my notes done, like I said. And I got a free Palestine sticker to put somewhere. But, um, so yeah, I got all my notebook and stuff. So I'm gonna go do that. So I'm back now from my reading, finishing reading and my work session. And um, it's now 7.58, so almost 8 o'clock. I got soccer and... Damn, how do people do this? My arm's getting tired already. And I got soccer in about an hour, so I got to get ready and head out in 20 minutes. And this is the issue with starting your day late and waking up late. Even if I didn't have soccer right now, this is still too late to do anything. I'd either be winding down or you know having dinner or whatever by this time so it's not ideal because i didn't finish everything i needed to do until now so that's why you should wake up early that's why you should start the day early today i woke up early but i started the day a little bit later because of what i had to do so it took a lot of time and i didn't get as much as i wanted to done today and that's literally the cue waking up early so now i guess today has kind of been like a vlog ish kind of but now what we're going to do is I'm going to get ready for soccer and uh, get a couple clips there. And then I guess we'll be close to wrapping up the day. I'll have dinner, show you my night routine, and then uh, wrap it up for this video, I guess. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, jump legend bound, can't stop me now. You don't wanna f*** with me. A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can Wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah? Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use to go ahead and run my f out, yeah. 
I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots. I tell you get big boss, you get yachts, you swing lots and pop off a big shot. I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things impatient. Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up, I won't give up this. Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise. Finally dinner time. It's been an exhausting day, to say the least. It is now 11.24. So, ugh, it's a late day to be eaten. I got this. So this is why these are kind of like a microwa- microwavable dinner, basically. I don't know if you can tell I'm exhausted, but I get these microwavable dinners for... Uh, times like this when you get in a pinch you don't got time for dinner like I didn't have time to eat before and this is now me eating after so if I had to make dinner I wouldn't be going to I wouldn't be eating till midnight so that's why I get these and it's important to pre-plan if you want to be eating enough you need to think ahead you know microwavable dinners maybe make meal uh meal prep and freeze them whatever but anyways, I'm going to eat this dinner and then we'll kind of wrap up, talk about the day, uh, reflect on the day. Um, and I'll see you after that. Well, it was way too late and I was way too tired to do an actual, to wrap up the video last night. So I'm doing it the next day now. Um, but basically what I kind of wanted to wrap this video up with was kind of the most important, kind of like a wrap up of the most important things and how to get the most value of these routines and you know trying to add new things and improve your life and you know trying to figure out a different schedule so the most important thing was you know at the end of that first day if you did join me or if you did your own thing whatever it is is reflect on that see what could you do better where can you improve for the next day um you know what did you do you got to also praise yourself you know where did you do good but then look at where can you do better where can even the slightest bit for the next day and not only that, you know, I think when you're, it's important right now, if you're starting this journey with me, the most important thing with this journey is to be as consistent as possible with yourself and be disciplined as possible. I know there's going to be days where we're not going to wake up. We're not going to want to wake up at the same time at, at a good time. There's going to be days like right now. I did not feel like recording, but I'm like, I got to do it. And you got to do this every single day. That's how you're going to see the best improvement. Every single day, try to stick with this routine. Start, try to force yourself, you know, pretend you're in the military and there's a drill sergeant yelling at you to get up. You know, when you're in the military, you're, you're getting yelled at, you're getting up, you have to get dressed in 10 minutes. So think about it like that. You are the drill sergeant of yourself and you got to force, that's how you're going to, one, build up your discipline. You know, this practice, this, you know, being strict with yourself, okay. I'm going to do, and being strict with yourself, I mean like, like I said, I was going to be strict with my routine. I got to do this, 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 this before I can do anything else with my day. You know, yesterday that, you know, when we reflect on that, did I do that? No. You know, I didn't get my meditation done. I didn't get my posture stretches. Yes, things came up, but you know, I could have done things better to, to counteract those things, right? So we kind of look at these things as we move forward and we see where, where can we improve and try to be as consistent as possible with this routine, especially when you're starting out. This is how you're gonna see the most results, is being consistent, having the schedule, sticking with it, especially, you know what? I'll be consi- I'll be honest, I was consistent with just the, the main part of my routine, you know, up to posture stretches. I think, find what you wanna work on. And I think it's really important that you add those things, things that are like, more productive that are working towards your goal find what your goal is and put part of your routine for something directly directed towards achieving that goal that is how you're going to feel the most fulfilled through this process as well trust me on this so i don't want to take this too long this video i don't know how long this video is going to be after editing 
I just kind of wanted to give you that wrap up. Remember to reflect on your day if you're doing this with me. You know, maybe you did the same order as me, maybe you didn't. See, if this is the first time you tried this, see what it, th- what works for you best. You know, does meditating before eating, does meditating after. What, you know, figure out your order, experiment. That is the most important thing is experimenting. I feel like, you know, we try to think what's best for us without actually trying it. But, you know, try different orders. Try the next day, like, a different order, especially if you're just starting out. So, I know what order kind of works best for me. And that is kind of what I'm presenting for you but figure out what be- works best for you. This is the most important part. And this is, you know, me trying to help you get on this journey with me. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I honestly just kind of recorded this. Yeah, just for fun. And just wanted to see what kind of ends up with it. I'm going to post it as it is. And I hope it ends up being valuable and you enjoy it in, in some way. And give me your feedback, you know, if you did like it, let me know. Um, This is still a learning process for me. And I I hope this was, you know, a helpful look through my day, I guess. And um, I I was thinking about doing this every day. I don't think that's manageable because, you know, like days like this where I'm too tired, you know, I'd be starting another video in the middle of another video. So I think what we're going to do is kind of like a weekly catch up in terms of this. And then I'm going to do obviously other types of content. So. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, like this video, comment, give me your feedback, Uh, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!